Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this week's preview for Winning Edge Investments. Uh, I'm previewing the main race of the day at Belmont on Saturday, the 1650 metre Peninsula Mile, for benchmark 76 plus race, but it is worth $100,000, so it is the main race of the day and essentially it's an open handicap, even though we've got the 76 benchmark figure in there. Um, this is my form guide, the Razor form guide that you can see, um, my final prices and such, but let's look first at my map. I think there's a good amount of uh, pace on in this race. Snow Chino can lead and can box seat. And in this case, I think from Barrier One will will sit just behind the pace. And my Greek boy and Abdicator from nine and eleven drawn wider, I think, can come over and and make uh, and make the pace. And with the two of them coming over, I expect the pace to be okay. Especially as they will have to cross Snow Chino, who would lead if if nothing else wanted to take it up. The missile launch there, close Miracle Man as well. And uh, yeah, tax, uh, tax are going to touch of silver just behind the pace. Uh, double digit may have a little bit of an issue there. Might have to go back to here or might be able to slot in there. It's obviously not an exact science working that out. Uh, but yeah, the, the pace should be okay. Those back there can get their chance to run on with what I think will be an even tempo. We'll move across to the form for these runners and go through. A touch of silver is, well, I think, probably the most consistent horse in WA. If we look at his ratings, uh, going back at his, what's it, how many starts? About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth, his ninth run back here in March, he managed to rate 105 and then went 103 winning. The yellow highlighted lines are uh, uh, wins. Uh, then 105 winning again, then 104 winning, 104 not winning, 104, 105, 105, 103. So he has done within two points of his top uh, in nine runs in a row. So he's obviously ultra consistent. He, of course, pays for it up here with 61 kilograms now. Uh, he's gradually gone up in the weights this prep. You see 57, 57, 58 and a half, 6 and a half, 58 and a half, all the way up now to 61. He's paying for it at the weights and he might just be tapering a little bit. He's 103 last start. Uh, it's a video corner, but he petered out final 125. Yeah, he's one sort of ended. I've uh, Because of his ultra consistency, I've given 105 and a half because he's so solid. But to be honest, he's, he might be in need of a spell. His, the weight is telling for him now, and it makes him a $23 chance for me. Abdicator went very well first up, going 106, uh, and then another one who then just couldn't repeat it second up. They often do that, as I've mentioned several times before. Uh, third up, third up, maybe he can bounce back. He, we had it in the map over here. He can get over into the breeze, hopefully, but he may have to do a little bit of work. I've given him 105, and a half, makes him a $17 chance in my market and he's $11 in the real market. My Greek boy will get the, will get it across on the map is what I was suggesting. My, again, might have to work as well, but at least can find a rail if he does cross no Chino there. Uh, he has had a 119 days off prior to this prep, but hasn't done anything so far. So I need to see a little bit of improvement before I could mark him up and I've made him a $102.57 chance. And he's similar, he's $51 in the real market. Color Bazaar, I don't give much of a hope to, it's just hasn't, uh, it didn't have a wet second up, but it just needs too much. Seven year old had 482 days off prior to this run here, and just, he needs more than 104 probably to win anyway. Uh, double digit, the one on the map potentially getting back and wide, he's he's come back in uh, good form and really found his top of that round, those 102s, 103s, and you can see back here that's around his top. And he came back going 99, 103, 99, 102, 103. And he was okay with his 103 and he's solid. I'm happy to give him that 103 again, but he'll probably need more than that to win. Uh, oh, it makes him a $31 chance for me. Taxagano is in good form. Uh, one, two back and went 103 and then went better, going 106 after being wide. Uh, he's, so he's racing quite well. And I've, I've given 105. 105, actually, to be honest, might be a little bit, a little bit stingy more like 105 and a half because he was wide here for a little bit of this race and then 106. He can map well um, and this trip is not an issue for him. He performed, he performed okay back at this trip back in the past. And so, yeah, 100, my initial mark, 105 now, we could probably, he might, even, he might even be up at 106. 105 and a half, 106 would be the right kind of mark. As I said, it's not an exact science. It's really the art is working out these half points and points and, Working out what is the right mark to give this horse. Yeah, and it's a good one. I mean, he maps pretty well. If we go back here, he maps just behind them. Even though he's drawn 10, he maps behind them. Um, yeah, so 
Well, hundred we'll go with hundred and five and a half makes it a ten dollar seven chance. He's about eight or nine dollars in the real market. It makes it quite similar. But he, he can he can win for sure. Uh Fryer S inconsistent, but um well not not too much inconsistent, but doesn't hold his peaks. He did he did he did this hundred and four when there was mid race pressure that actually really helped him swoop over the top of them late that day. And he went okay here, but he was a bit one pace and couldn't hold it. Give him 102 and a half makes him a $34 chance. He's about that in the real market. Missile launch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ready to peak fourth up and ready to peak 103. He was okay. And he's got this 106 is all the way back here. Um, but but they are a little, bit, a little bit of time ago. He didn't do that last prep. But moving like the 104 makes him a $15 chance. He's about $12. He might actually be another one. You could give a little bit more to. Um, because, you know, Barrier 6 got him getting a good run on pace there. 103 there was okay. So you could go maybe, as I say, my, my, my issue is the 105s were back a little while ago now. Uh, that said, that one's the 19th of May uh, 2018. So more than a year ago, and those ones obviously earlier. But you can potentially do that and have a $12 chance. Free trades racing well, won well last start going 106 and, and, and found the line pretty well. Um, he's very solid as well, 105, 105, 105, 103s, up 106 and backs up a week later. My issue with him is the 1,650 metres. Uh, I don't believe he's done anything like this trip before, so going down. No, this is, in fact, the 1,400 last start was his, was, uh, you know, a, a new distance for him then on its own, let alone going up another 250. So I haven't quite held him on the 106, given the 105 and a half, but he does uh, map quite well as well. I mean, he's, he's back here, but you'd hope that you'd hope that you could get out somewhere away from that rally. Might end up sitting too wide, for example, with a bit of pace on that's okay. But for him, it's about if he does, if he gets the 1650, we won't know until he tries. No stay in it. Another last start winner. He's racing fairly well. Got a, did 104. I've, I've held, I've held uh, him on 104. There, uh, another one who's who's off pace. He's actually quite a long way back, but um, but he, he gets an extra 50 metres. He's fourth up. He, he actually got 105 back here. So I'll give. So I initially wanted to move him up a little bit. 104 and a half, 105 back a little bit. In fact, he will be well back. Uh, Eleven dollar chance. He's eight dollars fifty in the real market. I should say free trade. I was six eighty in the end. Giving one hundred five mark made free trade six eighty, and free trade's four sixty four eighty in the real market at the moment. So no value. In fact, none of them have been over my assessed prices yet. Um, yeah. So uh, no saying it. Eleven dollars, as I said, about eight fifty in the real market. Battle talk inconsistent horse back here. One hundred eight. One hundred eight would win this race comfortably. At the Belmont sixteen hundred. He had Pike, and he gets Pike again tomorrow. But then he is absolutely tapered in his form. He's very, very hard to mark. You know, give, uh, as an example of the difference between ratings, you give 108, it's a fifty chance. It's currently $11 in the real market. I'm not giving him 108. Uh, and so he's a hard one to work out. 104 might actually be a bit better, which is four, two lengths off, off his peak and a level better than this. High on. It's just, it's just inconsistent. And, and, and it's very hard to think what he'll do because it doesn't, there's not there's no reasons for his peaks and failures. They just happen at the similar kind of circumstances. Like it's not sort of oh he fails on the wet and definitely dry he he goes well again. He he fails under the exact conditions that he succeeded in the start before regularly. So he's a hard one to mark in that respect. You know, 108 mile, 106. He's one on the soft as we see down here, and he fails on the soft here. It's all similar trips and same track. He's just he's just, in, he's just a genuinely inconsistent horse. Uh, on his day, he's good enough. Will it be tomorrow? Who knows. Miracle Man, now fourth up and backing up, which is what I like. I like horses early in their prep backing up. Shirt says to me that the trainer thinks they're ready to peak. Uh, his issue is his peak is probably not good enough. In 103, oh, well, he needs a new peak basically, and he's kind of got a base for it. Like he's done all these high one, I'm sorry, high 90 figures, and then held all these hundreds figures through here, which says to me, well, maybe he's got. Maybe he does have 105, 160 in at some point on the right day, um, and, you know, which is a level above these ratings here. So, because in one, two, three, four, five, six, in seven runs last prep, he rated 100 or 101 in five. Of them. So that says to me that he's pretty comfortable doing that. So maybe he does, maybe he does, but I can't be sure. Give him 103 and um, makes a $15 chance. So like he, if he could come out and find you know 105, he's right in the race, 106. Um, it's a matter of if he does. He, You've got to be certain on projection to give it to him. He's had a lot of runs. If he was lightly raced, more lightly raced, I'd be probably pushing a little bit higher. 
but he could. He could do a new level, especially because he's come back well and held it. He didn't come off his 101 like it was a big peak. He did 101 first up and then 99, um, you know, within a length of it. 98, this one, fourth up now, backing up. Yeah, you, if he's going to do it, this is the current circumstances to do it. So, you know, 103, 103 and a half, 104, the mark is somewhere in there with him. Um, and again, it's the, you know, the art of finding what the right figure is. Um, lastly, Snow Chino, who's the race favourite. Now, Snow Chino is going really well, won three in a row, 98 here, and then goes 106 when, when he won really well, um, bolted in that day, and then held it, going 106, going up three kilos in weight, one by, still one by a length and a half, 106, 106. So they're, they're, they're obviously, obviously uh, the top. Um, I don't necessarily think that she's certain to keep holding it because horses don't just keep holding it, you know, they eventually come off. So, whereas I thought that she probably were 106 again there, um, or close to it, yeah, I, I've taken her back a little 25. I'll give her the 106 just blindly hoping that she'll do it and she comes with $3 chance. And she maps, you know, really well. She'll either lead or get the right run. So she'll get every chance to do it. But my query is doing, is doing, is winning four in a row, doing three picks in a row. The, the, eventually they come off their peak. I took, taken her back one point and they were, it makes her a $4 10 chance with those other adjustments. Um, and she's $3 in the real market. So again, unfortunately, she is underneath the odds that I am. And at the moment, they basically all are. So at the moment, this is not a betting race, unfortunately. It would be nice to have a nice bet like last week in the preview and say, yep, we got a good thing. Uh, and so, yeah, just get on punters. That was really nice last week and proved to be correct. Um, but uh, at this stage, I won't be betting. Uh, there's my top 10 in order. Snow Chino, four dollars. So I'm right. So with those little adjustments we just made in the run there, Snow Chino, I'd have now a four dollar ten chance. Looking at just TAB fix odds, Snow Chino is three dollars. Um, free trade, you know, I'd have a seven dollars ten. Is this four sixty? Battle Talk. Well, I'm ten. Battle Talk is eleven. So you know, there's there's a, a, a tiny tiniest smidgen of those there, but really not enough to get excited about. Taxigano on 11, market is 8. No say in it, on 11.70, market is 8.50. Miracle Man on 12.50, and the market is 12.14, tiniest of the rows. We saw long term on 13, they're 12, and so on. Again, again I wouldn't be looking at horses down this far off top of the bed anyway. So that's where we're at. At this stage, you've got my market there anyway, so you, for your own purposes, you can use that as you wish, as you see fit. But uh, at this stage, it doesn't look like being a big race. Uh, but good luck. Maybe it'll change on Saturday. Have a great Saturday, everyone.